let the crow do the work for you. Is a proper lump. Perfect condition as well. lift, drop in again, just lift your knee, slide the pole out on the, on the bump bar, pole not on your legs at all, fish on, look, pole's under the water, clever claw's holding it, just lean down with your hand, release the claw, clip the claw on again, uh, I'm just going to flick a bit more bait out while he's just playing, him, just playing himself out a bit on the elastic, look. Gonna flick a bit more out, keep me interested, release the claw, start pushing the pole back. Anglers have been contacting Real Ideas to ask if their Mark II Clever Claw can be used from these comfy fishing chairs, and we're making this demo today to show you exactly how to do that. I'm using a Corum chair because it's got the square legs which makes mounting these accessory brackets very simple. The accessory brackets I'm going to use are the matchbox ones again because I find them extremely versatile you get different length aluminium bars that go on these blue polymer blocks here and which makes changing the position of your accessory whether it's the clever claw, the rest, the bait waiter all very simple use either hand to set the claw. You can reach across like this and roll it round and squeeze together or you can reach over with this hand, turn it, push together. There we are. We've already got a bite, lift into the bite, lean down with the hand, release the claw and put the pole back. And here's the typical rod setup. This is a waggler rod set straight out. There's the claw now only about eight inches the reel goes in front of the rest which gives sufficient upward pressure to keep the claw locked if this was going to be a feeder setup i would have the chair turned sideways more sideways to the water 45 degrees with the rod going out that way but exactly the same setup so cast out reel in front of the rest turn the claw push it together and let the handle come up you can see the obvious advantage with this is you haven't got to look for somewhere to put your bank sticks in the ground. Here we are on the River Neen. Probably only half hour of light left, but we're just giving it a go. There with a clever claw mounted on a cross uh, bracket just here on the extending part of the bank stick. Using a very simple setup, just a, just a lead on a loop of line there, size 8 hook, squeeze a bit of uh, cheese paste on, a bit of Danish blue in there, a bit of Stilton,
getting another tap. Yeah, we're in this time. Yeah, it's not ever so big, but after three casts, too bad. Yeah, only a small fish, beautiful condition. The light's going to go quite quick soon. Very often when the chubs start feeding though. Let's get another tap, there we go. Yes, we're in again. Might be a little bit better fish. It's a bit better. There we are. Quite a nice fish. Beautiful condition. What? Only about two pounds again, two and a half. Nice fish. Massive mouth there, look. Right, let's pop him straight back in. We're here today to show you the new pole rig hookups from Real Ideas. There's seven different sizes, seven different colours, so that you get to know which one to use on what part of your pole. Right from a large red one there, brown, purple, yellow, orange, blue, and the smallest being this green. The one here with the blue hook up there, that's just a short dibber rig, about a foot and a half long. The one with the purple hook up there, that's sort of a five or six foot long rig, a typical one for a commercial sort of fishery depth. And there's a really long rig, it's about 12, 13 foot long. So you can see I'm using the biggest of the hookups, the red hookup, and it's down on a number four section. And here's the final setup I'm going to show you. This is another really long rig, but I haven't got another spare number four uh, to put on. So I'm going to use the brown one here, and I'm going to use the yellow one further up. Just take the line around the brown hookup, and then hook it onto the yellow one, and just stretch each one out just to tighten the rig. Clip it onto the pole, twist the two loops together, put your hook into the eye and then just simply tighten your rig up. It's so quick, just a one twist and that hook up's off. Hang your line over there and there you are. That's ideal for hanging your pace rig on or even a bait dropper.